I don't know if you guys realize this or not or haven't haven't been paying attention or come to realize that you know the world that we live in you know it's really starting to change for the worse you know the energy and people are starting to shift like even the people that you see on a, on a daily basis you know you you can see that they're soulless inside like there's nothing in them that's genuine or real and with a lot of people a lot of people are just not friendly anymore like you look into people's eyes you know you don't see any you don't see anything in their eyes like they're just dead zombies they're, they're, they're dead soulless people inside with with no light just darkness a lot of people are walking with dark spirits now and I, I I can see this because you know I go to work every day grocery stores you just see the dead the dead and people like just soulless beings walking around this planet and I don't know what I'm gonna title this video but I just want to come on here and vent to y'all real quick the world is not going to get any better from here on out you know if you are following the most high and you're worshiping God you're a, a strong believer and you're strong in your faith you are obedient to the most high it's sad to say that you're going to be persecuted for being obedient to God. You see, when you are following God, you are going to be persecuted, singled out. The world is not going to accept you. You walk around the world, you feel like you don't fit in. You feel like, man, I am just different from everybody else. It's like... You're, you're a sore thumb that sticks out from the, from the rest. You don't belong here. And there's been many times throughout my walk, especially these past two years, that I felt like I don't belong in this world. And I've said this to myself before, but it's more apparent now that I don't belong here. Like, nothing is telling me that I belong in this world. I've had proof of this since day one. Since I was a child. Like, I knew from the moment I was in school, you know, I just knew I was the oddball. I knew I was the weird one. Or people perceived me as the weird one. I was the outcast. I knew I did not fit in. I knew I did not fit the mold. Like there was something about me that just wasn't, what's the word? There was something about me that just wasn't connecting to the world. I wasn't resonating, resonating with a lot of folks. I know a lot of people can say, you know, back in the day, people used to be friendly. I mean, before technology and before the social media crap, you know, it's safe to say that a lot of people were friendly. A lot of people had genuine intentions. A lot of people were just pure, right? There's no technology, you know, bombarding their life 24-7. There's not social media bombarding your life 24-7. Like, we had no distractions as people. We were operating like normal humans. But, I mean, how I grew up, me just from personal experience, I grew up, a lot, I grew up around a lot of fake people. A lot of demonic people. You know, I can say I've been around a lot of demonic people in my life. I've been around a lot of people 
that didn't have the best intentions for my life. I had a lot of people in my life that were energy drainers, energy vampires, that did not want the best for me. And I see how God, I see how God just took these people out of my life so suddenly. I see how the Most High just plucked these folks out of my life one by one because they did not belong in my life. And you got people like that in your life too that do not belong in your circle. And the Most High is, gonna, is, gonna, is going to pluck those people out of your life eventually. Because they're just not going to be able to hang with you. Because you're improving. You're in. You're in the scriptures. Reading the Bible. And you're being obedient to the most high. You're self improving every day. You're working on your purpose. You're becoming a new. Improved version of yourself. And, and the people that are. That have messed with you in the past. Some of those folks are not going to comprehend the new you. They're just not going to be able to hang with you. So those people by default, if you're not going to get rid of them, you're not going to cut these folks off that don't belong, then guess what? God will. God will. And you need to pray about and you need, and you need to pray upon that. May the Lord remove any people from my life that just don't fit my criteria anymore because you have standards as you grow you have standards and certain people are not going to meet those standards anymore so they're just going to be cut off completely because they don't fit your criteria anymore you have outgrown these people so may the lord cut off any people that i have outgrown that no longer have any value to my life anymore. May the Lord remove anybody that is not meant to be in my life anymore. That cannot go where I am going. And I guarantee you pray upon that. And you put more emotion into that with God. The, the Most High has already done it. That will be done. That will be done. I can guarantee you that. And you'll start to see these changes. You'll start to see a lot of changes in the world, man. Because as you become embodied in the spirit of the Lord. And when you put the blood of, and when you cover yourself from a spiritual aspect, the blood of Jesus Christ on you. The whole entire world is no longer going to be appeasing to you no longer. The world is not going to appease to you no more. Because like Christ said in the Bible, do not be of this world. We live in this world. We operate in this world. But we are not supposed to be lovers of the world. A lot of people... And in which y'all have noticed your entire lives that they are lovers of the world and not lovers of God. So if you are lovers of the world, then you are lovers of Satan. They are lovers of the devil. It's either you pick one side or the other. When it comes to these end times that, that we are currently in, you need to pick one side. That side is going to be either... God himself or the devil there is no gray area you cannot pick a gray area you need to pick one side if you don't stand for God then you stand for the devil if you don't stand for Satan then you stand for God that's how this works that's how this works because God is not of this world Jesus Christ was not of this world the world hated Jesus Christ the man was persecuted for saving, for saving people, for having a purpose, for fasting 40 days and 40 nights. 
Jesus Christ was a whole different, a whole different breed of human, of man. We cannot, we can never, we can never comprehend the greatness of Jesus Christ, even God himself. We cannot comprehend the greatness that Jesus Christ embodies, that he embodied. So, for us retaining our seed, and for us to grow spiritually, we need to be able to retain our seed, our sexual energy. This is what gives us life. This is what gives us eyes to see, ears to hear, and a discerning heart. Because if you're going to walk this path of righteousness, you need to have a discerning heart. You need to be able to have a strong intuition about things. A strong awareness. Because when it comes to warfare, this is spiritual warfare. This is not a physical war that we are fighting. We are fighting a spiritual war all the time, every day. When we wake up out of bed, when we go outside, when we operate in the world, we are constantly fighting a spiritual war. And only God's chosen ones, only God's strongest soldiers are going to be able to fight this war. Not everybody's going to fight that war. So when you're fighting this war, when you're fighting this spiritual warfare, ain't nobody finna fight that spiritual warfare alongside you because they're not cut out for it. They're not cut out to be a, a servant of the Most High. They're not qualified. I mean, anybody, you know what, I, you know, let me scratch that part. Anybody can be qualified to serve the Most High. But God has called a lot of people. And most people have not answered that phone call. So, whoever has been called and has picked up the phone, you know, you have been chosen. Only the chosen ones have picked up that phone call. When the Lord called, we picked up that phone call. We, we, we answered the call from God. Many are called, but few are chosen. So a lot of people were, a lot of people were not picking up that phone. And it's a shame, man. It's a shame, but if you look at the conditions of the world that we live in, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. I said earlier in this video that I said earlier in this video that people are lovers of the world and not lovers of, are not lovers of God. And that's just the truth. Y'all start to notice like a lot of weird energy is exuberating in the atmosphere lately. When you're around people, when you walk into a room, you kind of just read the room, right? I don't know if y'all have this sense to like, okay, you can walk into a room and immediately you just read the room. Like you scan the entire environment, you know what I'm saying? And something in your intuition is telling you, could tell you this is this, that this is a positive environment to be in, or it can tell you that this is a negative environment to be in. It really depends on the environment. You know, for the most part of my life, I've been able to detect the energy in the room, right? Judging by the vibrations of each individual person. And I was able to have this ability you know, 
as a kid, you know, going to school, you know, I would always detect negative energy from people. Like when I just walk into a room, I I immediately, immediately, the negative detectors go off and I can easily read that room because one thing about me, God has gifted me with, God has gifted me with being observant. Okay. I know how to observe people. I know how to observe the room. Okay. I just sit back and I watch how people operate, how people act, how people talk. Like sometimes I may not look at how that person's acting, but I can most of the time I can hear, hear what is coming out of that that person's mouth and how they see things, how they view things and stuff. Like you talk to certain people, man, and you can just kind of get a sense on what type of time this person's on, what type of energy that this person is exuberating you can tell if somebody got a negative spirit on them or a positive spirit on them you can tell when they're a woman of god or a man of god or you can tell if if they're of the world and you know they're operating purely in flesh right they're a vain person you can tell you can make that comparison pretty strongly okay when you're able to de- to detect a room detect people in the room and kind of pick certain people's minds have a conversation you know i make eye contact i've been very good excuse me for the background noise but i'm very good at making eye contact with people Look, ever since I started retention years ago, been on and off, but these past four months, man, I've been on a roll. I've been on a pretty good damn streak, okay? But my eye contact has gotten so much better. Looking people in in the face, looking at people in the eye, okay? I can tell when they have that light and I can tell they have that darkness. And for the most part, I've been able to detect that most people have no light in them you know what i'm saying like this is not something i'm just making up y'all can go around your neighborhood go to these grocery stores go to work look at people in the eye when you talk to them make that eye contact y'all see what i'm talking about you'll see if people have the light or if they have darkness inside of them okay most people won't make most people make, some people make eye contact with me. Like, there, there'll be times where I'll make strong eye contact with people, right? Like, if you talk to me in real life, I'm going to make strong eye contact with you, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, when I'm talking on this phone, like, okay, you can see I'm, I'm looking from a distance. I'm looking back down the phone. I'm not always looking at the phone. Okay, I'm, sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm looking up, I'm looking straight ahead. You know, I'm not, I don't, I don't like talking on the camera. Like, that's, that's just naturally me. I'm not, I've always been camera shy. So that's just me naturally. Like, I don't like being on camera. I don't like being, you know, recorded. That's just me. So I don't like even looking directly into a camera or into a phone all, all the time. But in real life, you talk to me, oh, we're, we're making eye contact. You know, and I can tell you and I can tell right now, if you're not making eye contact, when we are talking, I can just see that you're you're hiding something or you got something going on. You know what I'm saying? I can sense, okay, this person has a lack of confidence in himself because anybody that is confident, like, let's be real. Anybody that is confident in themselves will be able to make strong eye contact with anybody you know what i mean you know what i mean like you can make strong eye contact with anybody if you are that confident in yourself and you don't fear you know you don't fear um human interaction like i can talk to one individual 
and I can chop it up all day with that person. Depends what we're talking about. If we're if we're talking about some intellectual stuff, and we're talking about you know stuff that really challenges my thought process, we're talking about some real topics that I can indulge in. Then you know we're gonna have a conversation for hours. You know if it's about dumb stuff, about worldly things. Guess what? I'm not gonna be interested. I might just end the conversation early or just wrap it up and not say nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? I might not have no intake on the conversation that we're, that, we're, that we're having, but that's just me. But I'm getting a little off topic here, but I mean, I've, I've just been rambling on for the most part, but I just wanted to come on here and, you know, give y'all a little bit of a vent, a venting video and, um, just let y'all know the, the, the conditions of the world, the conditions of the, of the people in this world. Like, the world is going downhill, man. Okay? The world that we know is going downhill. The people, the people of this world, you know, they're not, they're not of God. They're not. They don't stand for they don't stand for anything. So what I really want to say in this video, man, is be aware. You know, pray for spiritual discernment. Stay strong in your righteous walk because you will be challenged. You will be tested. You know, the devil gonna tempt you, the devil gonna be working overtime. And I'll tell you right now, the devil was the devil has been working overtime in my life. The devil sees that I'm gr I'm growing, that I'm progressing in my life. And I can see him trying to stop me in my tracks. He's moving overtime. He's working overtime. And, you know, he's trying to take down God's chosen people. Because every time you level up, man, there's always going to be new. Anytime you level up in your life, man, there's always going to be new devils. New levels, new devils. That's how this works. That's how this journey works. You cannot grow without devils testing you. And most of the time when you're being tested, this is God testing your faith, testing your will, testing your, your resiliency, testing to see how you handle certain situations. And when you're going through problems, you need to go to God for the solution. Give your problems to God and receive the solution for the problem. This is how you need to walk out here. But be mindful of the energy that you are around. And always and always detect the room. Every time you walk into a room, just scan the room, scan the environment, read the room. You got to be able to observe people and observe the room, the environment. If the environment is not conducive to your spirit, if it's if the environment is unhealthy for your spirit, then you don't need to be in that environment. You don't. If this person is giving you weird vibes, negative vibes all the time when you're around this person, you know that person is not needed in your life. That person don't need to be there. So I want to come on here and make that video, make this video for y'all. And um, yeah, that's all I got to say for this uh, topic. I don't know what I'm going to title this video. I'm just kind of rambling on here. But hopefully y'all gain some, gain something from this message. Y'all gain some clarity, y'all gain some information, some insight from this video. So hopefully y'all gain something from it. Make sure y'all like the video for the algorithm. Subscribe if you are new. More videos are to come. This is Mr. Solo Dolo, and I'm out.